It was cool outside, so instead of bitching like the other people I live with about it's hot. And Muhammad Ali died and the Cassius Clay decided to do something. If you don't want to take off your antenna, this antenna is broken on this truck, it won't come off. You have to take the whole cowl piece off and hold on the bottom and then I might be able to break it loose. So what you do is you do this, you get brown paper, you poke a hole to it, you put it down, you catch the overspray. And then when you're painting, you get yourself a piece of cardboard, and you make a little blocker and you just go right down. You don't get anything on your car. So that's another way to do it. It actually comes out a little bit better because you don't have to touch it. So let's go do this. We can't hold the cardboard and I don't have any help as always, me, myself, and I. And uh, get this thing going. Because I don't think it's going to rain. But yet it's kind of cool out now, so it's all good. We got to go to the abandoned place still, remember? I told you the other day. We got to go three hours away. Looks freaking awesome. Yeah, I don't know. Could use another coat. We tried to do the bottom around here, but it's not working out too well. Really got a mask around it to get a crisp edge. Yeah, you see on these stupid trucks, there's a little plastic piece on the bottom. That spins when you put a wrench on here. So really you probably have to take the whole mast off, hold it. And you slip the whole cowl over, up and over it because it just split. And then do something like that. Stupid design. It looks good though. Oof. I wasn't going to do it and I said eh, might as well do it. I didn't even clean this one either. Spray it over there, you see it's a little light. Make it happen. Looks alright, looks alright. Then when you're going down the road, you won't have a freaking reflection in your face. Especially in this sun. Nope. On the bottom, it's always rough. You really have to strip the whole thing, but... Who doing that? Screw that shit. Screw that. Eh, yeah, good enough. They'll hold up for a couple of years. Or if these people plan to move back to the North Country, the truck will be rotted out in about two years up there, so it's no big deal. Who cares? That's how you do it. The best is to clean the whole thing first with some degreaser, alcohol, or a little scotch bright, but I didn't do that. See how it holds up. Then again, we are. Possibly may get a storm, but I doubt it. It's too clear over here. Probably not gonna come over there. Down that way, it was all abandoned years ago. I should have made a video of that. A bunch of abandoned houses. I should start doing abandoned videos. Seems to be the end thing on the YouTube. And plus, it's pretty fun. And you may ask why I don't care about this thing. Because Bozo has to go weed whack next to this thing every day. And every week, there's another huge chip on this truck. Why bother? They want to destroy the thing. Why should I? bother to fix it. Just give up. I don't destroy it. So I got O2 sensors. I got a whole bunch of shit I gotta put on this truck and it's probably gonna wind up selling it. I don't care. Sell the parts. Cause I don't care. That looks better though. I like it. So someone out there who has a bad antenna can fix it up. Easy. Without having to take it off. No tools. Just get paper and cardboard. And be careful where you're spraying. Look at that, it looks terrible. Many more. Many more. Like this huge one that we filled and we're getting attacked by bugs. 